In the sultry embrace of a New Orleans summer, there exists a singular pleasure, a humble concoction that transcends mere refreshment, the snowball. Picture it, a mound of ethereal shaved ice, delicately infused with a symphony of sweet syrup and adorned with an array of tantalizing toppings. From the bustling streets of the French Quarter to the tranquil corners of the Garden District, these icy delights beckon to weary wanderers and parched locals alike, offering respite from the oppressive heat. Yet behind these seemingly simple treats lies a rich tapestry of history and innovation. It was in the sweltering heat of the 1930s that two enterprising souls, George Altolano and Ernest Hansen, independently conceived of machines capable of transforming blocks of ice into clouds of delicate snow. Thus the stage was set for the birth of the snowball, a culinary icon that would come to define the essence of New Orleans summers. Today, as the city swelters beneath the blazing sun, the legacy of Atalano and Hansen lives on in the countless stands and shops that dot the cityscape, each serving up their own unique spin on this timeless classic. So the next time you find yourself wandering the streets of the Big Easy, be sure to seek out this humble delicacy and indulge in a taste of summertime bliss. Today, Gulf Coastal Connections finds itself amidst the vibrant hustle and bustle of New Orleans Audubon Zoo, a haven established in the roaring 1920s. As the school bell prepares to ring for the last time before summer break, the zoo morphs into a playground for the city's energetic youth. Amid its treasures lies Monkey Hill, a relic steeped in the memories of generations past. But here's the kicker. Monkey Hill wasn't crafted with intention. No, it was born from the inadvertent efforts of the Civil Works Administration back in 1933. Originally just a dumping ground, it soon became the go-to spot for kids, transforming into the Big Easy's own Mount Everest, towering proudly at 28 feet. Fast forward to the 1980s and Monkey Hill gets a facelift complete with majestic lion statues and a trickling waterfall, beckoning families to watch their little ones frolic. This mound of earth isn't just a hill, it's a testament to the spirit of New Orleans, a place where nostalgia intertwines with boundless energy. And what better way to cool off a day of play than with a snowball from the stand located at its base. So, from the foot of towering Monkey Hill, join Gulf Coastal Connections as we dive headfirst into the icy world of New Orleans' finest snowballs. In the gritty back streets of New Orleans, there's a culinary time capsule that's been serving up frozen delights since the Prohibition era. Hanson's Snow Blizz, established in 1934, holds court as the second oldest snowball stand in the land, 
only overshadowed by the venerable Walther Gardens up in Baltimore, boasting roots dating back to 1928. Through the trials of hurricanes and the passage of time, the Hansen family has kept the icy torch burning bright until fate dealt a cruel blow with the devastation of Hurricane Katrina and the loss of founders Ernest and Mary Hansen. Yet from the ashes emerged a phoenix in the form of their granddaughter, Ashley Hansen, who defiantly resurrected the family legacy in 2006. The dedication in Arter Street didn't go unnoticed, earning them the coveted America's classic accolade at the James Beard Foundation's award in 2014. But it's not just the awards that sets Hansen's apart. It's the craftsmanship behind each snowball, meticulously shaved and drenched in a rainbow of homemade syrups, a true taste of Louisiana's vibrant culture. Behind the scenes, Ernest Hansen's pioneering spirit lives on in the iconic Snowblizz machine, the first of its kind to transform blocks of ice into delicate snow, earning a patent from Uncle Sam himself in 1950. Today, as patrons line up for their frosty fix, they're not just indulging in a treat, they're savoring a slice of history, lovingly preserved by the hands of the Hansen family for nearly a century. I opted for the cherry flavored snowball, keeping things simple, a choice that often leads to unexpected culinary delights. Upon my initial encounter, the freshness of the cherry flavor was a revelation, a vibrant burst that awakened my senses. This wasn't your average snow cone, it was a symphony of authenticity, with the cherry essence striking just the right chord of sweetness never veering into the realm of artificiality. What truly set this snowball apart was the syrup, a delicate balance of sweetness that complemented rather than overpowered the natural flavors. It clung to every icy shard, ensuring each spoonful was a journey of flavor discovery, with the cherry's innate fruitiness shining through like a beacon of culinary excellence. As I savored every bite on a scorching Saturday afternoon, the cool embrace of the snowball offered respite from the relentless heat, rejuvenating both the body and soul. It wasn't just a treat, it was a moment of pure bliss. A brief escape from the oppressive weather, transporting me to a state of sheer gastronomic ecstasy. My dalliance with the cherry flavored snowball was nothing short of a culinary triumph, a fleeting yet unforgettable experience that left me yearning for more. In the pulsating heart of mid-city New Orleans, tucked between the academic bustle of Delgado College and the leafy expanses of City Park, sits Ike's Snowballs, a sanctuary of chilled nirvana. This isn't your garden variety snowball stand. It's a bastion of icy ecstasy that serves as a refuge from that oppressive southern heat. Ike's, where culinary journeys are made of snow. Here, the menu reads like a rebel's manifesto against the mundane, splashed with vibrant syrups that range from the reverence of old school fruit to daring, innovative concoctions that smack your taste buds awake. It's a place that dares you to live a little, to taste the spectrum of flavors as vivid and as spirited as the city itself. They aim to please all species. This joint dishes out meat flavored snowballs for the canine crowd, ensuring that every member of the family gets a slice or slurp of the action. But the delight at Ike stretch beyond the snow. The stand also offers a spread of savory snacks, perfect whether you're fueling up pre-lecture or winding down post-job. Settle in among the outdoor seating that echoes with the lazy hum of summer afternoons and let the world slow down for a moment. On my visit, I was met with a warmth that could melt the very product they're selling. I went for the large coconut because if you're going to do something indulgent, do it. Don't go halfway. 
The staff served it up with a side of zeal, ensuring every patron left cool when they came in. The coconut snowball itself was like a frosty kiss from the tropics, flawlessly textured, seductively sweet, and dang near therapeutic. Ike's Snowballs isn't just a pit stop, it's a pilgrimage for the frost seeking. With its heady mix of flavors, community vibe, and a relentless pursuit of peak chill, it stands as a monument to what a New Orleans summer should be. Dropping by Ike's isn't just recommended, it's essential. For locals and drifters alike, it's a promise of sweet, frosted salvation right in the heart of the Big Easy. In the heart of New Orleans' central city, a gem is hidden in plain sight. Red Rooster Snowballs. This place started small. A modest pit stop dubbed Little Red Rooster back in the firecracker summer of 1977. Under the watchful eyes of Miss Lynn, it has marked from just another seasonal joint into a full-blown year-round sanctuary of flavor standing defiant against the monotony of the typical New Orleans tourist traps. This isn't just about snowballs. Sure, they sling them with the best of them. Try the banana, drenched in condensed milk. It's like mainlining banana cream pie straight into your taste buds, minus the unnecessary fluff of crust. But this place? This place is a microcosm of the city itself. The menu reads like a roll call of every New Orleans staple. Pool boys, stuffed to the gills. Seafood, practically swimming onto your plate. Pralines, so sweet they make your teeth hurt. And sandwiches that do the mufalata tradition proud. Ordering here is a breeze. No fuss, no muss. Just pure efficiency with a side of Southern charm. There's a window for shouting your desires into, and another where those desires come to life, handed over in styrofoam and paper, steaming hot or blissfully cold. And if you can grab one of the picnic tables out front, do it. It's the best seat in the house for soaking up the local color and watching the life of the neighborhood unfold as you dig in. Red Rooster is more than just a place to eat. It's a testament to New Orleans spirit. It's where the locals go to escape the predictability and dive headfirst into the real, unvarnished culture of this city. Here, amidst the clatter and clamor of Central City, you're not just feeding on good food. You're absorbing history, community, and the kind of authenticity that can't be fabricated. This place is a slice of life, a slice of New Orleans, and dang, does it taste good. Since 1983, Nola Snow Snowballs has stood defiantly against the sweltering New Orleans heat, a beacon of frosty relief on Harrison Avenue in the guts of Lakewood. This isn't just a snowball stand, it's a family operation where tradition and innovation hold hands, all within the confines of a humble shack that could be easily overlooked if not for the steady stream of locals and enlightened tourists that line up for a taste. The magic of Nola Snow isn't just in the nostalgia of shaved ice or the shock of cold on a hot day. It's in the artistry. Each flavor is crafted from the ground up. Each recipe a guarded family secret whispered down through the generations. It's a delightful juxtaposition of old school craft and modern flair, hooking taste buds and drawing a crowd that's as diverse as the city itself. During a recent pilgrimage, I dove into a large wedding cake flavored snowball. The service was as quick as a hiccup, with a smile that was genuinely friendly, a rarity in the often cynical landscape of food service. The snowball itself? Well, it was a revelation. They nailed it. That elusive taste of celebratory cake, distilled into ice, complete with a subtle play of vanilla and the just right sweetness 
that elevates but doesn't overpower. It is something you would proudly serve at a high-end dinner party. No question. NOLA Snow Snowballs isn't just slinging ice. They're curating experiences, one cup at a time. For anyone who thinks they know snowballs, a stop here is a must. It's more than just refreshment. It is a deep dive into the flavor so of New Orleans. Located on bustling North Claiborne Avenue, Sydney Snowball stands out as a cherished landmark in a city famed for its culinary prowess and festive spirit. This revered spot offers more than just frozen delights. It's a vibrant hub where the rhythm of New Orleans street culture pulses through the air. A visit to Sydney's is like stepping back in time with a menu boasting classic flavors like grape. Each spoonful of their fluffy snowballs provides a refreshing escape conjuring up memories of carefree days. Yet, it's not just about nostalgia at Sydney's. The stand also serves up savory treats, like mouth-watering tamales, drawing a perpetual cue that snakes around the corner. Yet the atmosphere always remains cheerful and inviting. Amidst this lively backdrop, service at Sydney's is notably swift and efficient, a testament to their commitment to customer satisfaction. This efficiency ensures that even with the crowds, no one waits too long to indulge their cravings. On a recent visit, I decided to try the Pralines and Cream Snowball, a flavor that promises the essence of a traditional New Orleans praline. Skeptical yet hopeful, I was not disappointed. The Snowball was a masterclass in flavor, perfectly capturing the caramelized sugar and the hint of dairy found in the iconic praline. It was refreshingly cool with just the right amount of sweetness, reminiscent of a finely crafted confection. The stand itself is thoughtfully arranged with a couple of picnic tables and a stand-up area, creating a pleasant environment where patrons can enjoy their treats. This setup contributes to the overall congenial atmosphere, making each visit a relaxed and enjoyable experience. Sydney Snowballs not only excels in crafting delicious frozen treats, but also in maintaining a connection to the community, making everyone feel welcome. The impeccable combination of quality, service, and atmosphere solidifies Sydney's reputation as one of the elite snowball purveyors in the city of New Orleans. Whether you're a local or just passing through, Sydney's offers a genuine slice of the city's storied culinary landscape. The pralines and cream snowball alone is worth the trip. Promising and then delivering an authentic taste of New Orleans with every icy spoonful. I would certainly return, eager to experience more of what Sydney's has to offer. Located at the intersection of Elysian Fields and the gateway to Gentilly Terrace, New Orleans Snowball stands out as a haven of icy bliss in the vibrant heart of the Crescent City. Its modest facade masks a rich array of frozen treats, luring locals and tourists alike with a tempting array of classic and inventive snowball flavors. Each creation showcasing the meticulous craft of the artisans behind the counter. In addition to its famous snowballs, New Orleans Snowball provides a cooling respite from the impressive Louisiana heat with its selection of vivid fruit pack smoothies. These beverages just burst with flavor, offering a refreshing escape with every sip. True to New Orleans enduring spirit, the stand operates year-round, offering solace from the heat even during the unexpected warm spells of December. So whether it's a scorching midsummer day or a surprisingly balmy winter afternoon, New Orleans Snowball stands ready to quench your thirst and to light your palate, infusing a bit of joy into every frosty treat served. This enduring spot not only satisfies cravings, 
but also serves as a cherished part of the community, echoing the city's dynamic culture in every scoop. In the soulful sprawl of southern Louisiana, I got wind of a local delicacy that commands its own lore, the nectar-flavored snowball. This isn't just any street corner sweet, it's a dive deep into the cultural soul of New Orleans, crafted from a recipe concocted by I.L. Lyons, a pharmacist who ventured south after the Civil War. Lyons wasn't just mixing medicines. Oh no, he was brewing up a storm of flavors, creating a soda fountain syrup that mirrored the sweet, intoxicating extract of honeysuckle blossoms. Though the age of the grand old soda fountains may have faded into history and even Icy given up on regional taste, the nectar flavor has made a roaring comeback in the 1990s, splashed across New Orleans snowball stands in a vibrant revival of the good old fashioned nectar flavor that I.L. Lyons would approve of. The snow cone I wrapped my hands around wasn't merely refreshing, it was like licking a chunk of history, chilled and served up on a sweltering New Orleans day. The syrup, a secretive mix of almond, vanilla, and other mystical ingredients, painted each ice shard a deep ruby red, glowing with a neon peak promise. Biting into it, you'd expect the tropical punch of a papaya or mango, but what floods the mouth is a lush, honeysuckle sweetness, dense and nostalgic. It's a stark reminder of a city that thrives on its own terms, where even a cash-only sign doesn't deter an eager line, and where every lick is delivered with an impeccable professionalism. If you find yourself wandering the vibrant streets of New Orleans, let yourself be lured by the unique pull of a nectar-flavored snow cone. It's not just a treat, it's a frosty sip of history. In the blistering heat of a New Orleans summer, there's one thing that's essential as air conditioning. Snowballs. From the wilds of Monkey Hill at Audubon Zoo to the chaotic streets of the city itself, these icy marvels are like an oasis in a desert of humidity. They're not just refreshments, they're a taste of the city's soul. Picture this, you're wilting under the sun's relentless glare, the air thick with the promise of a thunderstorm. But then, like a mirage, you spot it, a snowball stand, and suddenly everything is right with the world again. You take your pick from classic flavors like grape or cherry, or maybe you're feeling adventurous and go for something wild, like wedding cake or spearmint. Each spoonful is a revelation, a testament to the sheer ingenuity and audacity that defines New Orleans' culinary scene. As that last school bell rings and summer vacation stretches out before you like an endless highway, remember to take a moment to savor the simple pleasures. Because in each mouthful of that delicate shaved ice, swimming in a rainbow of syrup, lies not just a taste of summer, but a connection to the vibrant history and unyielding spirit of the Big Easy. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscription button. We cannot do this without you. If you haven't seen our last episode, Jambalaya Chronicles, revisiting the heart and spice of New Orleans, do yourself a favor and check it out. I'll leave a link in the descriptions. And stay tuned for Unveiling the Charms of Pensacola Beach, a culinary and cultural odyssey. It will air next Tuesday, May 21st. And remember, it's not goodbye. It's see you next Tuesday on Gulf Coastal Connections. Hey,